Hi and welcome back. If you're new to the channel, my name is Vince. Thanks for stopping by. You're very welcome here indeed. So a second NMN human efficacy trial, the first was in pre-diabetic women, has now been released. This trial is in older, healthier men. So enough waffling off me. Let's jump into the presentation and let's see what this latest efficacy trial has got to offer. A clinical placebo-controlled, randomized, double-blind, parallel group trial for the first time in older men shows that taking NMN increases blood NAD levels and improves various indicators of muscle strength and performance. And there are links in the description below to the articles I used to make this presentation. In the past, only animal studies have shown that administering the NAD precursor NMN elevates nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide, or NAD, levels. As we know, age-related reductions in NAD levels have been linked in animal studies to cardiovascular, neurodegenerative, some metabolic diseases, and reduced muscle function. But what about in humans? Dr. Yamauchi, MD, PhD, and his colleagues stated, we report that supplementation of 250 milligrams of NMN per day for 12 weeks in healthy old men was safe, well tolerated, and significantly increased NAD and NAD metabolites in whole blood. Additionally, NMN induced improvements in muscle strength and performance. Thus, chronic oral administration of NMN could be an effective strategy for the prevention of age-related muscle disorders. To ensure that the NMN was safe to take, the team looked at common blood chemistry measurements indicative of toxicity that included liver enzymes and markers of kidney function after 12 weeks of daily NMN usage. The results were unaltered, indicating that NMN was well tolerated by the participants. Previous research has shown that NMN supplementation increases blood NAD levels in animals, and these increased levels were associated with an improvement in conditions of disease. Dr. Yamauchi and his colleagues tested whether this NMN supplementation could be reproduced in men. They found that the 12-week NMN supplementation substantially increased blood NAD levels, providing the first results from any study showing that NMN increases blood NAD levels in humans. Further analysis showed that NMN supplementation improves NAD metabolism by promoting NMN's conversion to NAD and the conversion of other NMN metabolites to NAD through a separate NAD synthesis pathway, known as the de novo pathway. These findings open up the possibility that NMN drives NAD production by activating more than one NAD biosynthesis pathway. Dr. Yamauchi and his colleagues wanted to find out if these NMN-induced NAD increases also improved physical function. So they tested for muscle strength and performance. They found that NMN did meaningfully improve several indicators of muscle strength and performance. This was reflected in walking speed, grip strength, and the number of times the participants could stand up from a chair in 30 seconds. Their results demonstrated that for the placebo group, there was either no change or a negative change, but the NMN group showed improvements in muscle strength and performance in all three disciplines. Dr. Yamauchi and his colleagues went on to say that we reported that the chronic oral supplementation of 250 milligrams of NMN per day is safe and well tolerated and an effective strategy for boosting NAD metabolism in healthy elderly men. Additionally, our exploratory analysis of the effects of NMN supplementation on physiological functions suggest the ability of NMN to improve muscle strength, which is an important clinical indicator of aging. Now, before people hail this as an unmitigated success, it should be remembered that the study was performed on a small group of 65 healthy older men over a short period of time. It was only 12 weeks. To be sure that NMN can boost NAD levels and improve muscle strength and performance in people, 
These studies will need to be replicated with a larger cohort that possibly includes women and younger people. And by younger people, I mean people who are younger than 65 years of age. So I hope you found that interesting or informative, hopefully both. So it appears as though taking 250 milligrams a day is reaping the rewards for older people. But if you think back to the first NMN safety trial in Japan, they were taking doses up to 500 milligrams a day. So I look forward to studies where they take up to 500 milligrams and beyond to see what the efficacy is. If only to show people like myself who are taking more than 250 milligrams that we're either wasting our money or by taking more, we are actually reaping the benefits.